In India, a leopard had acquired the taste for human flesh and had killed four kids in a period of less than two weeks. The savage leopard was particularly killing and devouring kids, leaving behind scattered bones and bits of body parts. But before we get any further, it would be cool if you like and subscribe. In the beautiful hilly region of Kashmir, lies a small town named Yuri. This town is surrounded by forest, and on the outskirts of this town there are several villages, where the terror of man-eating leopard prevails. Most of the victims of leopard attacks in the Himalayan region are young children, who are often caught unaware and unable to defend themselves. The first victim of a man-eater was a 14-year-old boy named Shahid. His mother remembers the day Leopard killed her son. It was a bright Sunday morning on June 12, 2022, a school holiday for a teenager. He got a haircut, took a shower, ironed his school uniform, and organized his books for the next day. In the afternoon, he and his younger brother took his family's cattle to graze in the nearby forest. This was routine work for them but they were totally oblivious to the fact that the beast was lurking behind the bushes. Any other leopard would have ignored them and gone about his business. But not the man-eater. It was hiding in the dense undergrowth, waiting for the right moment to pounce on the teenager. In a flash, the leopard attacked Shahid and pierced his big fangs deep into his neck. His younger brother, standing just ten yards away, did not know what had happened. He turned towards the direction of the sound and saw a leopard carrying off his elder brother. The twelve-year-old younger brother saw Shahid in the leopard's mouth struggling. As he stood there frozen, fear overwhelmed him. He thought the leopard would kill him too. And if the leopard kills him, our family will not even find our bones. He came running home. When the villagers came to know about the incident, hundreds of them rushed to the forest to locate the teenager's body, and were soon joined by forest guards and police officials. The search for the body started in the afternoon. After several hours, it was dark. But the search continued, despite the fear that the beast might attack, and claim another victim in the darkness of night. At dawn, Shahid's mauled body was found. His head was separated from his body. They were at two different places. One arm was missing, maybe he had tried to resist with his hand. It was devastating for the family to search for the body parts. They have never heard of or witnessed such incidents before. If they had any idea, they would have never let their children go with the cattle. Two days later, five kilometers away, a six-year-old girl was taken by a leopard. The little girl, along with her mother, was taking a stroll near their home. When all of a sudden, the beast came out of the tree line and charged towards them. And in the blink of an eye, the man-eater grabbed the girl and disappeared into the forest. It happened right in front of her mother. The shocked mother could not process what had happened. At the end, the mother was just praying for the little girl's body, so that she could have a grave to visit. After hours of searching, the girl's partially eaten body was found. The body was found by the villagers in the forest. The man-eater took the girl three kilometers away from the location where the little girl was snatched from her mother. The leopard is the sneakiest killer in the animal kingdom. Tracking leopards is difficult, and it becomes ten times more difficult in the treacherous terrain of the hilly region. The infamous man-eating leopard of Rudra Prayag, that killed more than 150 people, most of the time dragging men and women from their homes. The famous hunter-turned-conservationist, the great Jim Corbett, hunted it down. The man-eater of Yuri was operating on the same grounds as the man-eating leopard of Rudra Priyag. The third victim of man-eater that week was 15-year-old boy Amir. The teenager was mauled by the leopard. When Amir ventured out of his home to get some items from a grocery store, on his way to the grocery store, he was ambushed by the man-eater. The leopard attacked the teenager from behind, grabbing him from the neck and disappearing into the thick forest. It was over very quickly. No one around the area saw or heard anything. 
Hours went by, but Amir did not return home. His parents, along with relatives and neighbors, started a search. Later, his mutilated body was found in the forest. Meanwhile, the worried local residents urged the administration to send a team of forest officials to the area so that the man-eater is either captured live or killed. As the man-eater claims more and more human victims, it gets bolder and ventures deep into human settlements. But it does not become careless and, in fact, becomes more cautious. It observes the surroundings and activities of its human prey patiently waiting for the right moment to attack. Leopards are highly adaptable animals, and especially in India, leopards have learned to coexist with humans, but they rarely attack humans. Most of the time they hunt street dogs. The man-eater's next victim was a 10-year-old girl. She was playing in the courtyard. When the man-eater jumped over the boundary wall and attacked her, the leopard grabbed her by the shoulder. The girl was screaming in pain. The girl's father, hearing scream of his daughter, came running into the courtyard. He saw a leopard carrying away his daughter over the courtyard wall. Immediately, a group of people chased the man-eater. The beast dragged the girl about 500 meters into the forest, then fled due to constant pursuit by the group of people. The beast left the lifeless body of a girl and disappeared. There was immense pressure on the forest department to shoot the man-eater. The forest department created 50 teams to track and neutralize the man-eater. The teams, consisting of locals, forest guards, and sharpshooters, were in search of the beast day and night. The cunning man-eater was avoiding bait and traps. Finally, on July 7, 2022, the man-eater was spotted in the Burnate area of Uri. Attempts were made to capture the leopard alive by tranquilizing it, but the man-eater broke its cover and with a roar charged at the team, prompting them to open fire and kill the leopard on the spot. 